Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be making our first bit of content on the back for Blood Beta. I'm super excited to be able to do this, by the way, because I've been waiting so, so long to be able to make more Back for Blood videos, and now we finally get the chance the with the beta. I really am really excited to share anesthesia. with you guys what I found so far, because there's just so That's much terrible. abundant of content in here that it's just super exciting, and I just really am really, really happy to continue playing this game again. It's so, so cool. And one of the things that I want to do for our very first video here is actually show you guys the social space, which is Fort Hope, because that is the very first thing you'll be agreed with other than the menu because when you load into the game for the very first time after you set up everything you are spawned into Fort Hope and it's really really cool. I've already done pretty much a basic breakdown of my initial thoughts on my live stream because I live streamed this when I first played. If you guys want to tune in for a live stream because I will be live streaming this all weekend and probably all next weekend you can always follow my Twitch which is linked down below. In fact if you do that as well by the way you can also get a beta key probably most likely because there is a Twitch drop that you can get right now for Back for Blood where you're watching Back for Blood streams you can get beta Beta keys so please definitely check it out it helps me and it will help you i'd be more than happy to end up making some awesome content for you guys and like to play the game as well so but yeah guys let's talk about fort hope because this is one of the things i asked for was a social space and i'm glad to see that turtle rock is doing that so when you spawn in here you'll see that fort hope initially it's not that big it's quite tiny if you spawn in here, you got a menu you can end up pulling up with Escape, which we'll end up breaking that down first. So, you have got Resume, Social, Character Select, Options, Sign Out, and Exit to Desktop. Most notably is Character Select. You can get access to the original four characters we've seen so far, which is Evangelo, Walker, Holly, Hoffman, and now you also get Mom, because Mom is now available in the beta right now, but Doc, uh, Jim, and Carly are yet to be in here. Uh, they will probably be available either in the full launch of the game, or I'm assuming that there also is a possibility that they might be released in the next weekend uh for funsies maybe at least one or two of them maybe and uh yeah so we're playing as mom here because she's one of the brand new characters and i actually do quite like her a lot she's a fun character and when you walk around here you can see that there really isn't too much so a lot of it is probably going to be from this uh options wheel here that you see uh, there's a lot of things you can end up finding in here, but we'll end up discussing that again possibly later. So the first thing I want to show you Ready is our the boy over here, Phillips. Huh. If sure. you go over to him and you end up hitting E, you get access to the Back for Blood menu. Now the Back for Blood menu will show you Quick Play, Campaign, and Versus. Versus is in the beta, which is sweet. You can pre-order the game from here if you uh, are using a access key instead, and you've yet to pre-order the game, which is sweet. Uh, you have all your little tabs here from what you've done recently. Crossplay is enabled. You can end up messing around with your settings and stuff like that all in here. Uh, you get access to your decks, and decks are classified via campaign and versus. They're not together, so you don't have to worry about changing your decks on the fly if you want to just instantly switch game modes to make a quick deck. You can just be like, hey, I got my deck for campaign and for versus, so you don't have to spend time in the lobby. That is very, very smart. And you can see there's a giant difference with them. Uh, in fact, there's actually quite a big difference that actually warrants its own video. So be on the lookout for breaking down the cards. But then you've also got right over here, which is going to end up being supply lines. Now, for supply lines, I will discuss this later on because it's kind of a little bit too complicated to discuss right now initially. Uh, and then you've also got profile, and this has personal lines. Uh, right now, you can end up doing a basic set of stuff. You can do emblems, sprays. Uh, titles and banners, although a lot of them being locked, but you can see what they look like though, which is pretty nifty. Uh, which is pretty cool. In fact, there's actually this guy here, which makes me wonder if that's another operator, uh, because he's not clumped with these guys. But uh, yeah, so we got some basic stuff with that, which is pretty nifty. And now we're going to be moving on to our next thing over here. So these guys don't do anything. You can't go anywhere back here. And then you've got this guy right over here. This guy is going to end up being well, the dude that allows you to mess with your cards, and he is called Garner. Smart if you move. go to Garner, he'll just give you access to your cards. He is pretty straightforward. Then you go over here, and you end up getting this character, which is cool because it's an Easter egg. Word so this is Coach. This soft. is the Coach of Back for Blood. Not the Left 4 Dead Coach, but they have the same name. So it's a cool Easter egg paying homage to Left 4 Dead once again with this character being Coach, even though I know it's not the same. But uh, yeah, if you end up clicking E on her, you get access to the main menu again, but she's mostly done for verses. And then these guys don't do anything, but you can kind of mess around in here and do some fun stuff. If you go over to the punching bag, if you want, you can melee the punching bag just for funsies. And you can also even go around in the boxing ring, you can do the exact same thing. You can like spar with maybe like with your friends or something. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Then 
you go over to here and you got the campfire we saw in the trailer and then we've got our quartermaster this is going to end up being your, your boy dusty now the you. thing is with dusty is you can't interact with him unfortunately right now at the moment he just doesn't do anything you can walk around in the back of his shop you don't have to worry about like uh, being restricted to the front but uh you can't do anything he just doesn't work yet i don't know if he's restricted because they don't want him in the beta and they want him for the full release but i'm pretty sure they have a reason maybe he's just not ready as what it is then you go over up here because you can go up on the steps and you can get access to the firing range you can see it and then these guys don't do anything and then you also can go over here and these guys also do not do anything but they are there then you can go over here and you can take a look at our next interactable character, which is going to end Wanna up being this young lady. Today? And she can give you access to the supply lines. So if you end up hitting E Perfect. on her, you'll see supply lines. Now, what I like to do is I like to think about these as like mini battle passes, because even though they aren't, that's basically what they are. You click on these and they end up having a whole bunch of stuff you can end up earning for funsies. You've got uh, different cards, uh, you've got emblems, you've got sprays and all that stuff. You get some art. Uh, this is how you get things like the banners in the game. Now, even though you can get the cards, which I understand might be a red flag for a lot of you, you don't end up buying these. These are earnable. You end up getting them with these credits, which are these like little red GameCube squares in the right. I already have redeemed one of these uh, for one like row of rewards. And now I've got these brand new uh, sets of three, which is pretty cool. In fact, you can actually do some of them right now if I want to. I can just say, uh, hey, what do I like? Uh, let me see. I got some cool emblems and some artwork. Uh... I, I don't know. I mean, I don't necessarily have a particular one right now. I probably need to read them later. But yeah, you pick them, and then eventually you complete a set, and you unlock another set. So it's kind of like a mini battle pass, if you will, uh, but earnable. Then if you go over here to these guys uh, in the car, sometimes you can get lucky and copper will spawn right here in the lobby. Uh, you actually would probably uh, have it be in your best interest to go over here at least once every now and again to be able to see that. But uh, yeah, so right now the only interactable NPCs is basically these uh, couple right here, those four. Then you end up going over here to the firing range, which is the meat and potatoes of Fort Hope. So you can see as soon as we show up here, we got Mom to pull out a double barrel, which is her main weapon of choice. Because like how Evangelo has his machete, Holly has Dottie the bats, and then Walker and Hoffman have their pistols. Uh, the main weapon of choice for Mom is a double barrel shotgun, which might I add is extremely strong and extremely worth using, by the way. So you can end up using them on these little uh, you know, makeshift figures back here, which is pretty sweet. It actually goes quite a ways back. You can go all the way back into the forest. And really, there's quite a lot to do uh, in this firing range. There's plenty of stuff here. Now, unfortunately, you can't go like, back here and, like, to the forest or anything. You still are limited to over here with Fort Hope. But it is still quite cool nonetheless. There's exploding barrels you can mess around and you can shoot like so. It's one of the ways you can mess around. And this is just like one of the examples about like how the barrel does a crap ton of damage. But then you go over here and then this is the cool part. You get all of these shiny things. You get all the guns basically in the game unless there's ones that they have yet to release. They're all just chilling here and they've got all their attachments which I actually didn't notice until just now actually. Uh, and then you've got your throwables and your melee weapons. You can literally just shoot everything. You've got all of these, and this deserves its own video in its own right. But uh, yeah, I will be covering those later in a separate video because there's so many things just in Fort Hope by itself. But right now we're just basically exploring the interior. But yeah, uh, just as an example, I'll just grab one of the guns for fun. Uh, let's just grab like the uh, RPK, for example. You can just sit back here and you can just chill. You can shoot all these uh, guys back here. And then you can end up customizing it with some attachments if you want to make it a little bit stronger or a little bit cooler. So let's just get some like random stuff like this. And they can mess around a little bit and shoot some more guys, which is pretty nifty. You can go at this for a while, which is pretty cool. You literally just practice your guns and just uh, you know figure out what suits you. So that's pretty nice. But uh, yeah. That is essentially what Fort Hope is. In fact, actually, I just realized that over here is another table, which has uh, some of the other stuff as well. I didn't realize that they separated between two tables. It's kind of cool. I'm even finding out more stuff uh, even as I'm making this video, which is pretty nifty. Uh, I wonder if you can shoot these. You, for some reason, you can't shoot the barrels. Or, sorry, you can't shoot the, uh, the cups. That's weird. But, uh, yeah. You guys can see that Fort Hope is pretty simplistic right now at the moment. But I can definitely imagine how it's going to be when the game is fully released. And hopefully they expand it because if you go all the way back inside, there are some areas that I have yet to be able to see any way you can get into them. There is this guy back here by this chopper. There's a couple of like, log cabins. There's that guy back there. 
Uh, so I'm hoping that you can go into some of these areas and maybe like cut through like the tent or something like that. Uh, and it's pretty cool. Now, also as well, before we wrap up the video, I just want to give some feedback to you, uh, Turtle Rock, because the the uh, Fort Hope right here, this social space is very promising, but I do have some stuff I want to recommend. Uh, and you've kind of already done some of it so far. So the most notable thing is I think there should be more like mini games or fun stuff face to do in here. Face down. Rather than just simply just uh, try harding and customizing things. You should be able to do stuff like, for example, like what you did with your, like, messing around, like, in the boxing ring, just, you know, hit your teammates, or, hell, even hitting the punching bag or the speed bag, which is pretty cool. I like that, but there should also be some other mini games, such as, like, for example, I think it'd be kind of cool if you had maybe, like, for example, a parkour course, like, an area that you can end up climbing on and trying to be able to get uh, to a certain area, kind of like the Destiny Tower did. I also think it'd be kind of cool if you had maybe, like, a Spec Ops area where you got, like, this training course that you can go through, kind of like COD Force campaign, where you gotta shoot some targets kind of like on the fire range but they pop out at you and surprise you and you gotta try to complete a certain race before time runs out and also a 1v1 pit would be kind of cool or maybe like a survival pit would be kind of cool uh what you can do is you can either have it where you're going up against other survivors or you can end up having it where you're going up against zombies and basically like a mini survival uh area just like a little yay big box and you just try to survive as long as you can with basically everything or limited supplies so yeah that's basically what i think would be kind of cool improvements that you can do uh and at least give us also access to a lot more stuff other than just this because i think it'd be kind of cool if we could go back here too as well but what you have so far is very promising so yeah guys that is going to be the breakdown of fort hope in back from what i'm very glad that we got this and even though it's very bare bones at the moment it's still better than nothing i'll definitely take it rather than leave it if you guys end up enjoying today's video and you guys are looking forward to more back for blood content please as always show your guys support by dropping a like comment subscribe and all that beautiful stuff if you guys want to financially support the channel you guys can always definitely check out my patreon which is linked down below in the description or you guys can use uh, supporter creator code black ninja 797 all caps in the Fortnite and epic games item shops because this video is sponsored by epic games but yeah guys i hope you end up enjoying another youtube video for the most unique youtuber you guys are ever going to see and thank you for watching guys and peace out